Hey everyone, going through Father Cowley's book, Consecration to St. Joseph. This will be part two, The Wonders of Our Spiritual Father. The first wonder that Father Calloway puts forward is called Delight of Saints. And one of the saints who shows the greatness of St. Joseph is André Bessette. He was born in 1845 in Montreal, and he had lost both of his parents at a very young age. And so he turned to St. Joseph as a spiritual father. And St. Andre joined the Congregation of the Holy Cross. And although he was just a lay brother assigned the menial task of being a, a doorkeeper, uh, St. Andre was known for his holiness. And so, so many people would come to him for uh, help and intercession. And St. Andre would always direct their needs to St. Joseph. This is what St. Andre said. When you invoke St. Joseph, you don't have to speak much. You know your Father in heaven knows what you need. Well, so does his friend St. Joseph. Tell him, if you were in my place, St. Joseph, what would you do? St. Andre's simple and straightforward advice to always go to Joseph led to uh, so many miraculous intercessions. And it actually led to the development of St. Joseph's Oratory, which is the largest shrine in the world dedicated to St. Joseph. More than 2 million people visit this shrine annually. So Andre Bessette is known in the, as the greatest apostle of St. Joseph of the 20th century. The second section on page 85 is titled Delight of Saints. And when you look at page 89, it makes this very important distinction to show the honor and reverence that we should show to St. Joseph as the greatest of all the saints. Father Cowley says that we show God latria, which means adoration. We show Mary hyperdulia, which is highest reverence. And we show Joseph protodulia, which means first revered, whereas all the other saints are just dulia to be revered. Since the Virgin Mary is in a different category, which is one of the reasons why we rarely ever refer to her as Saint Mary, we could say that Saint Joseph is the greatest of all the saints. He is the holiest human person after Mary, the man who is closest to Christ and was entrusted with the upbringing care uh, of Jesus. And so St. Joseph was given very special graces in order to fulfill his role as father of Jesus in his upbringing. One of the saints who shows the greatness of St. Joseph as the greatest of all the saints is St. Teresa of Avila, a doctor of the church. And St. Teresa of Avila had been healed by a serious illness at a young age through the intercession of St. Joseph. And St. Teresa said, and I quote, I wish I could persuade everyone to be devoted to the glorious St. Joseph, for I have great experience of the blessings which he can obtain from God. I do not remember that I've ever asked anything of him which he has failed to grant. And then St. Teresa of Avila tells us, test the truth of what I say, for he will see by experience how great a blessing it is to recommend oneself to this glorious patriarch and to be devoted to him. So St. Teresa of Avila challenges us to test it out for ourselves and see whether St. Joseph is actually uh, going to help us out. The last section uh, on page 94 is titled The Roman Canon, which explains how St. Joseph's name got into the Roman Canon of the Mass. The Roman Canon is the ancient Eucharistic prayer that is now Eucharistic Prayer 1 in the part of the Mass. And it tells the story on page 94 of how Pope John XXIII during the Second Vatican Council was so moved by the speech of Bishop Cule on the reason to insert St. Joseph's name into the Roman canon that Pope John XXIII uh, actually acted upon this and set a decree during the Second Vatican Council to insert Joseph's name into the Roman canon of the Mass on December 8th 1962. So it's something that you can all think about every time that you go to Mass. You'll hear St. Joseph's name listed just after Mary and before all the apostles, popes, and martyrs. So it's a great example of how the church in her liturgy has actually proclaimed St. Joseph to be in this first revered position uh, below Mary but above all the saints in the church.